Hello everyone. Um, I want to come and show you this cute little tray that I made today. Um, this is a different type of video for me to be making. I've never really made a, a craft video. So, um, this is a little tray that I made to sit on my desk. And as you know, I love Tweety Bird. So, um, I made mine Tweety Bird. You can customize it and make it however you want to make yours. Uh, I'm going to go through everything and tell you um, exactly uh, what's in each one. Uh, this cup here, this is just a Tweety Bird cup that I already had. Um, it's clear. It's kind of clear and I just housed my cotton balls in it. I just put my cotton balls in it. Um, these two bottles in the back, this one and this one, these are old Seshvite or Seshivite. Um, bottles that I had. I cleaned them out and I put an N on this one and, and an A on this one. This is non acetone nail polish remover in this bottle and this is acetone nail polish remover in this bottle. This bottle here was a um, a bottle that had cuticle oil in it. Um, I forgot what the name of it was but it was cuticle oil in it and I just uh, pretty much blinged it out. I put a whole bunch of rhinestones all the way around it and I glued a uh, Tweety Bird figurine on top of it. And this is now the bottle with my uh, Sesh Vite in it. And it has a brush on it. Okay, so you can see it has the brush on it. So my Sesh Vite is now in that. My cuticle oil is in this small bottle here. And this is the, the rest of my cuticle oil. And this used to be a lemon juice bottle. So um, I explained every... Um, what I did to each bottle in the, in the video. So this is the way it looks after I finished the tray I just purchased. It was a dollar. I purchased it at uh, Dollar Tree and I just used fabric in the bottom part of it. So I'm going to show you the video and how I made each one. Um, I just glued um, figurines on top of the tops of each one of them to make it Tweety Bird to make a bottle stand a little taller. So this is the way that it looks. Um, I'm going to show you in the video. If you want to know how I did it, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is a tray that I have. It's just a little uh, tin tray that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And I only paid uh, $1 for the tray. And I thought it was really, really cute. And it looks like um, that, it, that I paid more than $1 for it. But I only paid $1 for the tray. Um, next, I'm going to take like some... This is like some printing paper, but it's like cardstock. It's a little thicker than regular printing paper, but it's not that much thicker. So I'm just going to take it and lay it in the tray. And I'm just going to take an ink pen and I'm just going to kind of press around the edges uh, of the tray so I can trim out off the rest. I want to have like a little um, mat on the inside of the tray just in case I spill anything or anything like that in it. So I'm just going to go around it like this with a rough edge. And it doesn't have to be extremely neat. As you can see, the paper is the same size on each end on the edge. So I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to go around like this and trim. Just impress a, uh, a little indent on it. And you can see the little indent that I did. Then afterwards, I'm just going to take some scissors and cut that out. Just cut around the little indent that I did, which I've already done that already. So this is the one that I've cut that I read. As you can see, it lays really, really good inside of the tray. It's pretty much the same size as the tray and everything. So hopefully you can see that pretty good. So next, um, I'm going to take, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to move the tray out of the way for a second. And um, I was trying to decide which fabric that I want to use on the inside of my tray. I have three that I really, really like. Uh, this is one, this is like a Tweety Bird fabric that I have, and it's satin, and has Tweety Birds on it. And also I have this like silver fabric here that has like these little glitters and stuff on it, which I think I'm going to stay this and use this on something else. And I have this fabric here as well. And this is another Tweety Bird fabric that I have. You can see the Tweety Birds on it, but the Tweety Birds are gold on here. As you can see, the little imprints is gold. So I think I'm going to go with the satin fabric fabric as the tray lining. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, flip this on the opposite side, on the wrong side. 
and I'm really glad that you can. You can still see the Tweety Birds uh, on the opposite side of the fabric as well. And I'm just going to take the um, paper and just lay it on the print that I want. So I'll probably do like these three here are probably will fit on, the, on it. So I'm just going to lay it here. Not like that. And I'm going to take my fabric uh, shears. Let me move, slide it down some so you can see. Hold on one second. Okay, so I'm just going to take my um, fabric shears and I'm just going to cut out roughly around close to the edges around this. So I'm going to start here. And it doesn't have to be neat or anything, but you want to leave a, at least about an inch, a half an inch at least around the edges of the fabric. Okay, as you can see, I have, I've cut it out already. I'm hoping that you can see this on camera. This is my first time ever attempting to do any kind of video like this, so hopefully you can see it. Okay, so next on the edges of the fabric, like in the corners, you want to kind of round those a little bit off. We'll just make like a little cut on the edge of it so it won't be so square at the end. Okay. So I'm going to move this back some so you can see the edge of the fabric hopefully. And I shouldn't need the scissors anymore for this. Hopefully I don't. So you can see in the corner of the fabric, like right here, um, I'm going to use my hot glue gun now and just glue the fabric onto this little piece of cardboard that I have. And I'm going to start in the corners of the fabric. And you want to be really, really careful. You want to be really careful with the uh, hot glue gun. Uh, this is the hot glue gun that I have. It's seen better days, but it works really, really good. Um, I purchased it at Walgreens a long time ago, and I think I paid like uh, four or five dollars for it. I think. And this is I have the long hot glue sticks in there, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna dot, do like a line of glue right in the corner. Because I want to start in the corners of the fabric. And I'm just going to take it and press it. Press the corner in like that. And then I'm going to put another line of hot glue right across that. And I'm just going to press that down like this. And you want to be really careful because this uh, glue is really, really hot. And you can burn yourself with it. So you want to be really, really careful when you do it. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to do that all the way around the edges of it right quick. Okay, so I finish it and I flip it over so you can see how it looks. So that's the way the front side of it looks. Now if you want to, you can take it and actually glue it inside of the tray. On the inside of it. But I'm not going to glue it down. I'm just going to leave mine just laying in there. Um, I don't think I'm I'm going to glue actually glue it in there. Um, well, I might glue it in. I'm not sure. I guess I'll put just a little glue on it. 
around it and go ahead and glue it down into the tray as well. I wasn't going to do it at first, but I guess I will. It's not a big deal. So I'm just going to glue it. You have to work really, really fast with this because this glue dries really, really quick. And the glue, it'll hold it in the tray, but um, hot glue on slick surfaces like this, it, it doesn't really hold. I could pull it right out if I want to change it. So, but it holds really good on the fabric. So, this is the, this is the way that I did the inside of the tray. Okay, so the first bottle I use is this. Uh, this is an old Sesh Bite bottle, a refill uh, bottle for uh, top coat. Um, I didn't want to throw it away because it was glass. I thought it was really cute and I thought I could use it for something eventually. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is a silver fabric that I have here. And I'm not sure if hot glue would stick to this or not. I might have to use a different type of glue, but I'm going to try the hot glue first off and see how it works. So I'm just going to lay the bottle down and kind of measure approximately uh, how long it is, as you can see. and and trim off a piece of fabric and I'm trimming a little bit longer than it is actually and I'll trim off the excess afterwards so this is the piece that I have so far so now I'm going to um, get it basically and I don't want it to be all the way up here I'm gonna stop it about the fabric on the bottom I'm gonna stop it about right here so I can actually see uh, when the bottle is almost empty so I'm just gonna lay it at the top area and trim trim off the excess and I like I said I want it to be a little bit shorter in the bottle so you like a little notch there so that's about how long I want the fabric well I made the look indented right here so I'm gonna cut that all the way down flip it this way so I can cut easier and I'm just gonna trim it And I'm going to try to even up this side just a little bit as well. Okay, so next what I'm going to do... It'll probably overlap a little bit, so I'm just going to take it and roll it up on the bottom just to see how perfect I got the size of it. And like I said, I'm eyeballing all of this. I don't know exactly how close it is. So, it's not exactly what I want. Hold on one second. easier to get it straighter by folding it so I'm gonna trim off a little more
and this fabric is a little bit stretchy too so that helps out a lot uh, when you're putting it on the bottom it really helps a lot so yeah so that works out okay so next one I'm going to do I'm going to add some glue onto the bottom and hopefully that this will stick pretty good and please keep in mind that this is glass so it gets really really hot and also this fabric is really sheer so you might want to use like a little piece of cardboard and I think I think it's going to hold pretty good on the bottom. The hot glue works pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just glue this fabric all the way on the bottom like that. So you can see how that looks so far. Looks really, really cute around the bottom. So next what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to find some, I have some trim I think around here somewhere. And I'm just going to add trim around the bottom part and the top part of the bottle to even it out right quick. Okay, so um, like I told you all that I, I used to sew too. I sew a little bit every now and then. So I have a lot of different things of trims and all that stuff laying around. That I'm not going to do anything with. So this was just some of the fabric that I'm not going to do anything with. So I found some yellow trim in there. So I decided to um, put some yellow uh, trim around the bottle. Since yellow is my favorite color. So I'm just going to add that around the bottle like that. And I'm going to line it up with the back side of it. With a line of it is it in the back of the bottle. And I'm just going to do that with hot glue as well. And I'm just going to cut the rest of it off. And I'm going to glue the, the little tip down. So I'm going to add a little more glue on top of it. Just to Okay, so I finished putting the trim around the bottle, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add this little figure ring on top of it. It's plastic. And it came with this little, I don't know what this is on the bottom of it. It's like a little hard thing on the bottom. And I cut it off. I cut it off the figure ring. And it left it hollow on the inside. And it's plastic. And I trimmed it until I was able to get it on top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some hot glue around the top of the bottle and you want to do this quickly um, because if it starts to get hard it'll be harder to get it on there and I'm just going to take the Sylvester figurine that I have and hopefully work it into there there we go and work it on the bottle like that and I'm going to take it off quickly because I don't want the glue to dry so you can see as the top is on the inside of the Sylvester now this is just dried um, glue around the edges I'll clean that off later so that's the uh, first bottle that I did on my set and what I use and when the glue dries I'll just get something to pick that off later on as you can see it glue it screws on really well and I'm able to get it on tight on the bottle so this is the first bottle and I'm just gonna put some um, some nail polish remover in this bottle so I can have it on top of my set so this is first cute little bottle I really love this a lot I thought it turned out really really cute 
okay so this is the first bottle that I did um, the Sets White bottle and I swapped the top out on this one um, this is the second one that I did this is a Sets White bottle as well and I just swapped the tops out on them since this one was um, had red on it. I did red trimming around it since the Sylvester had red on it. And this one had yellow. So I did this one with the yellow trim around it. So those are the first two bottles that I've done. Like I said, they're both glass bottles. Uh, empty sesh white bottles. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what, I, what I'm going to put in them at the end of the video. Okay, so the next thing I did was I uh, took some black rhinestones and I... Um, glued them in the shape of letters and I place a A on this bottle and an N on this bottle. Okay, so this is an empty um cami bottle. It has it how it used to be some clear nail art sealer. I used all of it up. I cleaned the bottle out with some acetone uh, nail polish remover and got all of that out of it. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this fabric and glue it onto the bottle, around the bottle just like I did the other two the other two bottles. And I'm going to add this little blue rhinestone on top of it, on the top like that. And also I'm going to add um, this blue trim around the top and the bottom of the fabric like I did the other bottles. And I'm also going to add a couple of Tweety Bird stickers on the bottle. Okay, so this is the next bottle that I use, and this is an old lemon juice bottle that I had, that I uh, used up, actually. Um, so I saved it because it was yellow, and I had this idea to do this a long time ago, so I say I kept the bottle, and I thought I, I could use it and put something in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to decorate the outside of it just a little bit, just to cover up the, the letters, the name of the lemon juice, and um, the little barcode thing on the side of it. So what I'm going to do, um, the first thing I did, which I've already did this side, I took a Tweety Bird sticker and I glued it on top of the, the letters that was on the bottom on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same stick type of sticker and I'm going to glue it on this side of the bottle next. So next I'm going to take this little silver sequence trim I got and I'm going to go around. I want to cover this up too. So hopefully this will cover it. I'm going to place it around the bottle like that and cover it up on the uh, tip. And I'm using this to keep from burning my hand because <laughs> the glue is really, really hot. Okay, and the last thing that I added to the bottle, you can see how the trim come out on the bottle. And the last thing that I added was this little Tweety Bird figurine that I had. It's open in the top as well. And it fits perfectly down on top of here. Perfectly. So I'm going to add a little hot glue around it.
and I'm just going to take the top of it and just press it on there. And it fits perfectly on top. So that's the next bottle that I did. And the last bottle, which is this, um, I'm going to pour the contents out of this later on. But I'm going to take this bottle and I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see the rhinestone slide over. These are all of the rhinestones that I have. Just a bunch of multicolor rhinestones. So I'm going to take those and just rhinestone the full bottle of it right quick. It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'll start it off on camera so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a bead of glue. Like that. And this... The hot glue dries really, really quickly, so you want to put the rhinestones on quick as you can. So it'll probably be best to do these uh, one by one, pretty much. Like that. So I'm just going to do that all the way around the bottle. Then I'll be back um, after I finish it. Okay, so I finished uh, gluing all the rhinestones around the bottle, as you can see. And also, I glued this little Tweety Bird um, figurine on top of it. It's plastic, and I glued it on the bottle. So next one I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little trim piece that I have. And I'm just going to glue it right around where the bottle and the figurine meets. I'm just going to glue that around there like that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in each bottle. Um, this is my cuticle oil is still in this bottle. So what I want to do is to get all the cuticle oil out of this bottle because I want this to be the bottle for my uh, Sesh Vite top coat because it's a bigger bottle. That way I won't have to refill it so much. So this is going to be the new bottle for my cuticle oil, a little small bottle like this because I don't use it um, a lot. And I've already cleaned this bottle out already. So I'm just going to take the top off of it. The cuticle oil and I'm just gonna fill this bottle up with it you can see it's full so this will be the uh, cuticle oil bottle that I use uh, every week and it's still some in here. So I want this bottle to be completely empty. Empty. So this is going to be the bottle that I house the rest of it in, uh, the cuticle oil, so I can refill this bottle when it's empty. So I'm going to take the top off of it. And this was, a, uh, like I said, a lemon juice bottle. So it has like this little, I don't know if you can see that or not, that little notch at the, the little um, thing with the little tiny hole at the center of it. So I want to get that, pop that out first. Okay, so that didn't work. I'm going to use these. This is just some scissors that were broke from my manicure set. I'm going to use that. I don't want to break my dotting tool to get this out. So you can see it popped right out. That's what it looks like. And I was able to open the bottle up bigger. And I've already cleaned this bottle out already. So I'm just going to pour the rest of the cuticle oil into this bottle.
and I'm gonna put this back in it so when I get ready to use it I can just turn it down and refill the bottle so now um, what I'm gonna do since this bottle is empty I'm gonna clean this bottle out right quick So that's basically it. Um, if you try this out uh, for yourself, uh, please let me know. I would love to see what you all come up with. Um, hopefully you like it. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.